And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Diana Shivana. That's right, we got some Nightfall Dragons or some Moon Dragons if you want. So basically the reason to play these together is I wanted to play a dragon deck. And so, um, you know, we're going to have our Shivana and stuff. And with the dragons, uh, Targon is just another good region to have with the dragons because Targon does have so many good dragons. So that's where, so we're playing, so I was going to play these two regions and I was kind of thinking I was going to play Jarvan and Shivana together, but Jarvan costs six and it's just like all of your dragons are already all expensive anyway. And so like putting in an expensive Jarvan with uh, Shivana, that, that's pretty tough, but that's where I started because I've had some people wanting, wanting some, uh, a Jarvan Shivana deck, but I ended up going with, um, I ended up going with Diana instead because I also, um, also wanted to try Diana with some of these new rally cards, basically. <laughs> so that's what, so we're going to have uh, dragons and Diana and rally, because if you get more attacks with your Diana, how it can be like this big uh, quick attack challenger. And then if you rally, you get the quick attack challenger and get to do that some more. That sounds pretty awesome. And so I wanted to do that. And then of course, Shivana with rally, the more time, especially you level up Shivana and then attack and you get the plus two, plus two, get the strafing strike. That's amazing. And then if you rally, get to attack again, plus two, plus two, strafing strike again. Yes, please. So that's what that's what we have. We have this Golden Aegis card for the barrier rally. We also have two Cataclysms. This is kind of replacing Concerted Strike in the deck. Uh, get the free attack. That can be awesome with your Shivana or, you know, your um, Diana or just like any like big dragon, you know, like they like to have their uh, free attacks. So yeah, we're combining some Nightfall stuff with some Dragon stuff, and it should be just a fun deck that <laughs> that we have just kind of a little bit of combination of everything. Eclipse Dragon just kind of melds them together, right? So it's Nightfall, it's a Dragon, perfect. So, you know, like that just kind of melds them together. All right, so let's give it a try, Diana Shivana. Ooh. The Format Boogeyman. This looks like a good hand. I'm gonna keep all this. So the reason why I wanted to play, so, so I'm gonna talk about maybe playing going three Cataclysm and one single combat. Hey, world, I'm doing good. The reason why I wanted to go two single combats um, is because with like Cataclysm is a slow speed spell. The Golden Age is also a slow sp speed spell. I wanted to have some more interaction for like their spells and you know things that we can do during combat. Like you, you can play single combat during combat or like in response to a spell and stuff like that. I wanted just some more interaction in that respect. No Aphelios. No Aphelios. No, 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 no. Go get him, dragon. <laughs> that's that's me shooting Aphelios. Get him, get him, get him again, get him again, because it's taking them forever to choose a card. Bleh. The the yeah, we avoided Targon for a, for a while, but now we're playing Targon, so we play against Targon. <clears throat> it does seem like this game does have like where you play against similar regions a lot. Um, if y'all have noticed that too, that's it. Really feels like it. And that, the reason for, like, I, I doubt that even if, even if their algorithm is designed that way, I highly doubt that they would ever admit that the algorithm is designed that way. Fire and fury burn so, yeah, so I don't think they would. But one good thing, a good aspect of designing an algorithm like that, that same regions get paired against each other more often would be that, especially like mirror matches get paired against each other more often, would be that it will take down the win rate of your regions some, right? Because like, if, if Targon decks are always playing against Targon decks, that means they're going to have a win rate closer to 50-50, right? Because one has to win, one has to lose. If Targon's not playing against Targon, then it can, you know, it can have a higher win rate, right? So like, you're gonna have a more normalized win rate the more times you have the same regions uh, play against each other. No. 
and obviously that's not all all the all the time and it's it's I'm just wondering if they're like the algorithm's just a little bit tuned to looking for same region decks. Yeah, so Valerian Blade says it sounds like a downside, it makes it harder to understand whether the cards are balanced or not. Which if you're somebody designing the cards, you don't you don't want it to look like your your game is not balanced. So it it can give the impression to somebody that looks at like a mobile stats page of like, oh yeah, this is only like, you know, fifty whatever percent. So unfortunately my opponent did have Aphelios, and so these moon weapons should just finish the game from here. I don't don't have any spells to try to kill Aphelios. Played the Egghead Researcher to play the Shade Stalker to try to be able to block Zoe. So they just played four cards and they didn't go down any cards in hand. Did they? I don't think they did. Maybe one card in hand. Alright, let's go to the next game. That was a... That was a close one. All right, back to Fiora Shen. So normally I'd really like Egghead Researcher, but I don't like it against... I'm just going to keep it. I don't like Egghead Researcher against Fiora, but I'm just going to keep it. It's a good card. I do like that we have, you know, more spells. This is a matchup where spells are very important. I'm something of an aspiring ecologist. Stalking Broodmother with Cataclysm. That is somewhat of a combo. I'll follow where I can. We can get the Scout Dragon and then get the free attack. Start for them. The, my single, like their single combat and a one mana card trades with my single combat and my four mana champion and my two drop as well. I serve my people with pride. I know this isn't good against Sharp Sight, but I don't I don't have any play that's good against Sharp Sight. But this is my best play with no Sharp Sight, this is my best play. So it looks like they got Sharp Sight. Do 
GG's opponent. GG's. Oh, they just go with tough. Okay, yeah, there, there's that. Okay, well. They still have three things? Uh, we're not dead, I suppose. know what we can draw if we can draw a judgment that's not in our deck well, that's probably not very likely all right oh and two two very good decks so far they had very good hands for very good decks and they defeated us Ezreal Kindred. This one's a little different. This isn't a, you know, just like one of the tier one decks, so this will be interesting to see how we do. Love the spell shield. Eclipse Dragon's awesome for this matchup, but we should probably find another one, I would think. Shade Stalker can do a little blocking on Ezreal if they do have the turn three Ezreal hand, which sometimes they do. I guess I don't really get to. I'm gonna really turn on the nightfall though. The more we learn, the less we fear. Don't blink, or you miss me. You must have some. All right, we got lots of expensive dragons. We got a four, a five, a six, a seven, an eight. <laughs> we can just. Kind of just play on curve, see what happens. The no attack last turn was probably them being worried about sharp sight. Break them. What a I could wait till next turn with the Fuse Firebrand that has Spell Shield. It's a little safer. Eleven out of twelve, Shivani, you so close. Never one. Without the other. So close. Hmm. Easy to dragon? I guess this is bad, because they have the three mana left. They just kill my one three and then the, they mark this. I I shouldn't have played this, I should have just passed. But they're not acting like they're gonna kill it. Wow, they're not gonna kill it. Huh. 
coronation seems kind of likely. Darkness hides in my path. Seems kind of likely. Alright, getting rid of the spell shield. No mana for ruination yet left, of course. Get him, stalking brew mother. Making them spend this mana. Kill this thing. Alright, now they don't get the spider to block anymore. And then how do they survive? I don't I don't really know how they can survive this. And there we go. Alright, it worked. Good game game. Ooh. We got Jarvan Tarek. That looks cool. I like Jarvan Tarek. Um, man, Eclipse Dragon, you're cool, but we need to find cheaper stuff. Alright, sorry. Prediction just started. Yuck. I won't stop now. What is this? Seems like you always make <clears throat> the expensive dragons. Why can't we get like a four mana dragon? <laughs> They're gonna keep going with the support. You're yep, looks like it. Go, floaty crystals. Fill Cascade fight. Oh, good card. That just gives them something that they can easily block the Crescent Guardian with. That maybe they didn't have something they wanted to block the Crescent Guardian with before. That's really worth it, but I am here. I'm not panicking, you're panicking. Probably wasn't worth it. We are playing against One foot in front of the Tarek. That was how I did it. Yeah, that that couldn't have been worth it. I have the scars to prove it. How do I get this Diana Nightfall and then also mana for the Golden Ages? Spell Cascade with Tarek is awesome. To protect all. Nope. I can do this. It's a tricky deck to play that we're playing. And of course the opponent's deck's pretty tricky too, as you can tell.
for how long it took them to figure that out, I feel like they don't have... Oh, really? <laughs> I was going to say, for how long it took them to figure it out, I, I would feel like they wouldn't have a good a good attack. So, like, it, they lured me into to blocking like that. Where if they, you know, do it right away, I'm probably having my 4-5 just block them into the stones and... Full sense of security. One mana short again. It's golden ages. I cannot turn back. I will be heard. One more mana would have had the bastion. Uh, Vegeta, what's up? It's going good? There is okay, leveled up Tarek. Not great. I won't stop now. Yes, please, support like that. Do that. Oh, that's why they're supporting like that. I guess that makes sense. That's just Cataclysm. And then Jarvan levels up, and they keep getting Cataclysm. Wait. I'm gonna do that, right? Wait, is this thing this thing still attacks? Hmm. I haven't seen that work like that before. I will choose death. Like that. Okay. Frostbite. So I maybe have potentially too many units, not enough spells in the deck. That's what seemed like the last two matches with the um, with those, with the Tarek deck and the Fiora Shen deck, that they just had much better spells for combat than what I have. A chill in the air. Dragons, such fascinating creatures. Hey, there we go. Egghead Researcher made a cheaper dragon. I like it. Doing that now? We were peaceful once. We go and try Farian. Places to go, people to be. You must have some unique insight into dragons. Most are cruel, vicious, and deadly. This is your end. Mm. I'll take five. Alright, Shivana's halfway to leveling up. Halfway there. Her flowers bring the moonlight with them. Gotcha. Alright, well I was hoping for something where Diana could have a good challenge. So basically, Diana is just going to be protection for Shivana, and also a way to deal a whole lot of damage. Put them down to four. Victory requires a sharp blade. This dragon is positively otherworldly. 
Shivana was so close to leveling up. So close. Ooh. Ooh, not. Not going after Shivana. There are none like me. Alright, so I'm not gonna use the sharp sight to save that thing, but I was thinking they're gonna be playing some kind of spell to save. They're Ash, and so I wanted to wait until afterwards, especially like a troll chant. Wanted to wait till afterwards. Use some kind of frostbite. I have to use some kind of frostbite, and then I got the sharp sight. All right, all right. Well. They get to stay alive. Okay. So they had a lot of spells. That didn't look. That didn't work out as well for me as I had hoped. Oh man, and then a draw three. Because the Shifana gets the plus two, plus two from the attack and then also creates the strafing strike. I mean, yes, one of their champions is Ash. Chance. Triple chance are killing me. I have the scars to prove it. Neither of those can block, they're at three. I think I'm blocked. Cold and unforgiving as moonlight. That hurts. We're just getting out combat tricked. All these games. Every single one of these games, like it's a lot of combat and then a lot of combat tricks, and we are getting out combat tricked. So we tried hard with the Shivana. That's that's kind of what our deck's supposed to do, though, right? Is like have a Shivana, have it like attack a whole bunch. Um, you know, we tried hard with it, but they just in the end out combat tricked us. So uh, it looks like you know not very much card advantage in here. Like we have like Egghead Researcher creating a dragon, but like the Egghead Researchers really didn't do that much in these like mid range matches. They're better against aggro and even better against control. But like these these mid range kind of decks, but that's what we face these last few like that are all about combat. The one threes don't matter very much. Uh, you know we do have Eclipse Dragon in here to create some more dragons, but we never played Eclipse Dragon, so that's not a good sign. Yeah, like our, our spells here were kind of too expensive with Bastion, Golden Ages being four mana and then also not being able to be played during combat with the Golden Ages. And there was a couple of times like where I had these and I had three mana and so I couldn't do, do anything. So yeah, basically just the, the spells. Like these just weren't, these weren't the, the right spells and, and really we kind of needed more. Diana really didn't 
didn't do enough, <laughs> honestly. Um, yeah, especially like with us not really having good spells to back Diana up. Um, sure, we had Sharp Sight and Pale Cascade, but they just weren't enough. All right, so that was Diana Shivana. We just got we just got out mid ranged by other um, more tier one at mid range decks. Um, sometimes that happens with, with, uh, decks that you brew up, right? Like we just made this deck this morning to try out and, um, you know, we, we found out that it just wasn't as good as the, the mid range decks have been around for a really long time with your Fiora Shen, you know, your, your Ash deck. Um, and then the, the Taric deck just had better interaction than what I did. So not as good as those decks that have been around forever, but, uh, yeah, cause that's what we kind of learned is got to make sure you have the right spells, you know, like cards like Repost. Would have been amazing for us right like what repost would have been much better than many of these other cards where repost would like help out the diana um it would keep things alive with the barrier like that's that's what we're kind of missing so like maybe just going back to and playing repost playing concerted strike that kind of stuff i think that would have been better than the spells that we that we had all right but that's diana shivana so those of y'all watching later on youtube hit that like button over there and of course as always feel free to leave those comments but thank you so much for watching and i'll see you for the next video